What if the universe is a ticking time bomb waiting for a sudden catastrophic collapse? What if everything we know is just one stage in the endless cycle of universes being reborn again and again? What if reality itself is an illusion and we're nothing more than temporary floating consciousnesses? And what if the ultimate fate of the universe is determined by intelligence, not physics? These are the questions that push the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos. Let's dive deep into the most exotic, mind-bending theories about how time and the universe itself could end. Let's start with vacuum decay. Imagine a perfectly calm lake. It looks still and peaceful, right? But under the surface, there's a tension, a brewing storm that could break through at any moment. Our universe might be just like that lake. Right now, it's stable, existing in what scientists call a false vacuum. If this isn't the real ground state of the universe, what if at any moment a tiny bubble of true vacuum could form? destroying everything in its path. A true vacuum would be like that storm. It would expand at the speed of light, obliterating everything in its path. The very fabric of reality would be rewritten. Time, space, and the laws of physics we take for granted could all be torn apart in an instant. And the scariest part, there'd be absolutely no warning. It could happen tomorrow or a billion years from now, triggered by a random quantum fluctuation in the universe. Physicists don't think it's likely to happen soon, but the possibility is always there, lurking. The universe could be much more fragile than we think. Is the universe really as stable as we believe? Or are we living on borrowed time? Now, what if the universe isn't destined to collapse in a vacuum decay? What if it's just one chapter in an infinite book, each universe part of an endless cycle of death and rebirth? That's the radical idea behind conformal cyclic cosmology, or CCC, proposed by Roger Penrose. In this theory, after the universe has expanded so far that it becomes cold, dark, and empty, something incredible happens. Time itself begins to lose meaning. Time itself begins to lose meaning, and the universe transforms into something like it was before the Big Bang. Smooth featureless, and ready to start all over again. In Penrose's view, the end of one universe is just the beginning of the next. But is there any evidence for this? Penrose thinks we've already found it actually, hidden in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the oldest light in the universe. There are strange circular patterns in the cosmic microwave background radiation that could be something called hawking points, remnants of black holes from the previous universe, because at the end of the universe, there's just a bunch of black holes flying around. These points could be the first clues that a universe is part of an infinite ongoing cycle. Could we be living in a universe that has died and been reborn countless times before? And if so, how many more universes lie ahead? Let's take it one step further. <laughs> what if everything you know, your memories, your reality, is nothing more than a fleeting illusion? That's the mind-bending idea behind Boltzmann brains. In the far future, after the stars have burned out and the galaxies have drifted apart, the universe will mostly be empty. But quantum physics tells us that in the vast emptiness, random fluctuations can happen. Particles can just pop in and out of existence. Now, imagine if one of these fluctuations randomly assembled into a fully formed brain, complete with thoughts, memories, and a sense of self. I mean, how did life form in the first place? These Boltzmann brains could pop into existence, experience reality for a moment, and then vanish again. They would have no body, no surroundings, no past, just the illusion of all of those things. But how do we know we're not one of these Boltzmann brains? How do we know that everything we're experiencing right now isn't just a random fluctuation, a fleeting moment in an otherwise empty universe? 
This idea isn't just a strange thought experiment. It challenges everything we know about reality. If Boltzmann brains are possible, how can we ever be sure that we're living in the real universe? And what is real? Finally, let's turn to one of the boldest ideas of all, if those previous three didn't F with your mind. Could life and intelligence be the force that ultimately shapes the fate of the universe? That's the proposition behind the Omega Point Theory, brought forward by physicist Frank Tipler. Now, I kind of like this theory. In this scenario, and as intelligent life continues to evolve, it reaches a point where it gains control over matter and energy on a cosmic scale. Picture a future where civilizations can manipulate the very fabric of space-time, harnessing the energy of stars and black holes. At the Omega Point, this super-intelligent life wouldn't just survive the death of the universe, it would control it. Through advanced technology, life could effectively prevent the collapse of the universe, or even just re-engineer it, or maybe make a new one. But it gets even weirder. Tipler suggests that these future civilizations could perform infinite computations, uploading all of life consciousness and even the past into a massive cosmic simulation. In other words, the universe itself could become one enormous brain where every moment of existence is preserved and simulated for eternity. If this theory is true, the future of the universe isn't about physics, it's about intelligence. Could the ultimate fate of the universe be shaped by life itself, turning the universe into a vast, interconnected network of consciousness? Or not? So there you have it. Four exotic theories that push the boundaries and really mess with your head of what we understand about the universe and ourselves. Could we be living on the edge of a vacuum decay, part of an infinite cycle of universes, a fleeting Boltzmann brain, or the beginning of a cosmic intelligence that will one day shape the fate of the universe? Each of these questions takes us deeper into, deeper into the mysteries of existence, forcing us to rethink everything we know about the cosmos. So which of these theories will define the ultimate end of time, or could the truth be something even stranger? Oh, that was, uh, they kind of mess with my head. I want to, um, so guys, I have, uh, created a discord channel. I want to invite you to it. The link is, uh, going to be right here i might make a little uh card for it come join come uh oh man anyways come join us uh let's spark some conversations build a community rebuild this channel uh today is a very special day it's a day that uh i actually didn't lose subscribers and i actually uh it actually started to tick up a little bit, um, which is very encouraging. Anyways, I'm going to keep making sick content. Join the Discord. I mean, Discord. Uh, make some friends. Uh, maybe find a girlfriend or something. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Peace.